And joining me now from Santa Monica, California, just outside La La Land, Janet Young, an award-winning Hollywood film uh, producer. Uh, Janet, I lifted this from your bio. Hope you don't mind if I share it. Uh, she was hired by several major studios to reintroduce American cinema to the Chinese marketplace after a long hiatus. From 1985 to 1987, she represented three major studios, Universal, Paramount, MGM, and in an act of diplomatic prowess, was able to broker the first sale of American studio movies to China since 1949. So you're there at the beginning of this wave. How does it make you feel when you hear our correspondents say that China now is a lifeline for some of these films? Talk to us about this arc. You were there at the beginning. I, I guess I was. It just goes to show that things can change on a dime. Back in the 80s, we were telling the Chinese that they might think about building new theaters, think about multiplex, think about selling popcorn, using sort of the tricks of the trade here in Hollywood and helping them boost their, their marketplace. You know, we basically said, if you build it, they will come. And I, I hope some of those messages did filter down. It's exactly what they've been doing, and they're being rewarded for it. Yeah, they, they, they did, uh, because royalties uh, for showing foreign films have soared in recent years. They can now reach up to tens of millions of yuan, dozens of times more than uh, 10 years ago. So it's been pretty remarkable, hasn't it? It's been quite, quite the ride. I don't think uh, anybody could predict exactly how fast and how far it would go. But of course, like everything, there's, there's hiccups. So we, we had a, a, a period of about three to four years where the growth was just phenomenal. And then it did slow down in 2016 and may again in 2017, because uh, what they're learning, I believe, is that quality does matter. There's a lot of funding now for projects. Uh, but they haven't necessarily taken the time to develop them, at least the domestic products, as well as, as maybe they, they should have. So there's been also, uh, therefore, a, a big opportunity for American movies to go in, because now with all the new screens in place, they want to make sure that people are going to fill the theaters. Uh, Janet, you're one of those with the rare insights from the West to the East. So talk to us a little bit about the Titan government regulation, the reforms in March, the film industry promotion law. I don't really see that as being uh, much of an inhibition to what many of us have been doing all along. I think they just tried to formalize it a little bit and put in writing what uh, what many of us understood already to be the case. There, there is, um, you know, there's always been a, a supervision of the kinds of things that are and are not allowed in, and it, that process really hasn't changed in terms of the review of scripts and then the review of the movies and what you know what what movies can and can't be shown and i think it with a with a seasoned eye you know one can predict oh this movie will be okay and others won't be so there's a, a, a mix of obviously commercial interests political interests and just you know feeling out the audience taste and with new technology and the internet there's the information flow is is really uh, quite un uh, is it's it's it flows <laughs> it flows very very well so i can't say that it's there are um no boundaries to that but people are very interested in you know uh, about who the movie stars are and promotion really does help the movie stars go over it is big news it's an event unto itself so it's not merely just a promotion of a movie but the presence of, for instance, American movie stars at some function becomes, that in itself becomes a very newsworthy event. Uh, can Hollywood be doing even more to appeal to Chinese audiences, you think? I think so, and I think many studios are doing just that. They're starting to create local language uh, movies and really tapping into uh, the local filmmakers and trying to stay abreast of social trends. So uh, it's, it's all, you know, I, I try to tell people it's only been a couple of years, really, since this, these new relationships have, have formed. And I think while it may not be apparent because in the movie business everything takes a long time before the product actually is revealed, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes, and I think in the coming years I, people will recognize that. Janet, thanks so much for your time. Really appreciate it.